hit like Stubby Station, the Kent Fun Studio for the performance of past achieved by the permanent board of Kent City Party Committee and individuals of the board. Kent City Department of Industry and Trade surveyed the export situation at Ting Fab, one member of Food Processing Limited Liability Company. The delegation of the Department of Development under the Ministry of Defense of the Kingdom of Cambodia visited and offered that issues to leaders of Kentucky City People's Committee. Hello and very warm welcome to another edition of Kent News and Top News today. The Kent Fund to review the performance of tasks assumed by the permanent board of Kent City Party Committee and individuals of the board began on the morning of January 11th. The conference was planned to take place in two days, January 11th and 12th. With a high spirit of unity, the permanent board of the party committee focused on leading and directing the work of building a clean and strong party and political system, the implementation of synchronous and effective solutions to fulfill the targets set in the resolution in 2023. Although the results are not as expected, many important indicators gradually change positively, maintaining a decent growth rate by 5.75% over the same period. Economic structure shifting in the right direction, culture and society were focused and strictly managed, political security was stable, national defense was maintained. Internal affairs prevention and fighting of corruption and negativity were concerned to comply with regulations. At a conference, delegates focused on analyzing, evaluating, and clarifying the achieved reasons as well as the shortcomings, limitations, and causes, setting directions in leadership and direction with the highest role of successfully implementing the city's political tasks in 2024. On January 11th morning, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Winter King, attended a conference to review the implementation of tasks in 2023 at Kansas Investment Trade Promotion and Exhibition Fair Center. Last year, the center where implemented the principle of democratic centrism, strengthened political and ideological education, created changes in awareness and actions of workers, organized visits at enterprises to fight out and promptly propose solutions to solve problems. Particularly successfully organized the fair and exhibition, Kansas City, 20 years of achievement and development. On January 10th afternoon, alternate member of the party central committee, also secretary of Kansas City Party Committee, Nguyen Van Hill, had a meeting with the party personnel board under the City People's Committee on the progress of some key projects in the city. About the project to develop Kansas City and enhance urban resilience, including 46 packages from ODA Capital, in which 12 building packages completed less than 50% of work, 12 building packages reached 50 to 90%, and 22 packages reached over 90% of the progress. The disbursement rate up to December 31st, 2023, reached over 70% of the total project volume. The current difficulty is that the handover of sites is intermittent and prolonged, leading to delays. Some bidding packages are difficult to complete before June 30th, 2024. Leaders of departments and sectors also reported on the progress of implementing projects according to Resolution No. 45-2022 of the National Assembly on piloting many specific mechanisms and policies for the development of Kansas City, including dredging the Nankanter Maritime Channel and setting up a center for connecting, producing, processing, and consuming agricultural products in the Mekong Delta and Kansas City. Secretary Wang Wang Hu emphasized that these are very practical projects, greatly in practicing. Secretary Wing Wang Hu emphasized that these are very practical projects, greatly impacting the sustainable development of Kansas City in the future, as well as contributing to embellishing and improving the quality of people's lives. Therefore, the party personal board instructed relevant parties to strengthen coordination and make efforts to soon complete these projects with the highest political determination. On January 11th morning, leaders of Kansas City Department of Industry and Trade coordinated with the Department of Economics and Infrastructure of Kansas City Street to survey the export situation and production and business plans in 2024 at Singh one-member food processing limited liability company. 
In 2023, the company exported over 40,000 tons of Taiwan fragrant rice variety to Africa and the Philippines. The company cooperated with cooperatives in Dong Thap and Anh Giang to have a stable raw material for export for many years. The problems of bank capital were also gradually removed, so in the new year, the purchase supplies were guaranteed. Leaders of Kansas City Department of Industry and Trade analyzed the recommendations of the company, saying they would propose suburban districts to cooperate to the company in building raw material layers, connect to Vietnamese ambassadors and the trade counselors in other countries to help it expand markets. The delegation of the Department of Development and the Ministry of Defense of the Kingdom of Cambodia, led by Lieutenant General Uk Hyung Pise, Director General of the Department, visited and offered that wishes to leaders of Kansas City People's Committee. Receiving the delegation was then and Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee, Yung Tung Hing, and leaders of some departments and universities. Lieutenant General said that in recent years, relations between the two countries have continued to develop steadily, with the close friendship and affection of the two people. Over the past time, Kansas City has paid much attention to support and cooperate with Cambodian agencies and units to organize many activities to promote cooperation, investment, cultural exchange, people-to-people exchanges to strengthen the cooperative relationship, the solidarity and friendship between the peoples of the two countries. Standing Vice Chairman Yu Tung Hing affirmed that the relationship between Vietnam and Cambodia is getting closer and stronger. Particularly, Kansas City is supporting training course for five students nominated by the Development Department to study at Kangta University of Medicine and Pharmacy. On the occasion of the upcoming New Year, Lieutenant General wished the leaders of the city good health and new successes in life and a stronger solidarity and friendship between the two sides. On the same day, the delegation also visited and offered third wish cadres and sutures of the armed forces of Kangta City good health, success, and completion of all assigned tasks, which the friendship and solidarity between the army and people of the two countries' eternal sustainability. Lieutenant Colonel Huynh Văn Hùng, commander of the military command of the city, sang the leaders of the development department while giving information on the military and defense work of the city in 2023. Nam Kanta University Hospital has organized exchanges with experts from international hospitals in order to improve the quality of medical examination and treatment at the hospital. On the occasion of the delegation of professors and doctors from the United States to visit and provide health consultation in Kanta City from January 8 to 12, 2024, Young professors and doctors of Nam Kung Thư University had the opportunity to coordinate in health examination and consultation for patients, thereby helping the team of doctors and medical staff of Nam Kung Thư University Hospital improve the quality of medical examination and treatment, solving the needs of examination, increase in health care of the people and international integration of the hospital. The National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting forecasts that the salinity drought situation in early 2024 may be high. Some promises along the Ting and Hau rivers, such as Vĩnh Long, Cần Thơ, Bến Tre, and Tiền Giang, may experience local salinity drought. According to Director of the National Center for Hydrometeorological Forecasting, Mai Văn Him, El Nino is likely to occur with moderate to strong intensity in the first months of 2024. Therefore, the drought situation this time is likely to be very acute. Salinity will encroach deep into the coastal zone. In the case of extreme El Nino, by the middle of the dry season, from February 2024 onwards, despite preventing salinity from entering the sea, there is still a lack of fresh water. Therefore, people need to have a plan to respond and be proactive before salt water intrusion. And last but not least, we have the updated weather forecast. The updated weather forecast also wrapped up this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, cancertv.vn. And thanks for being with us. Goodbye, and see you next time.